Eyewitness News is your local election headquarters, and today another candidate jumped into the race against incumbent U.S. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, former state Supreme Court Justice Robert Flanders. Eyewitness News reporter Ted Nisi was at Flanders' kickoff announcement. He joins us live in studio now with more. New at 5.30. Ted. Caroline Mike, Robert Flanders took a lot of shots at Senator Whitehouse in his speech today, but if he wants to take on the incumbent, he'll first have to defeat a fellow Republican. I'm here today to announce my candidacy for election to the United States Senate. Republican Robert Flanders making it official, telling a crowd of roughly 80 he's running for U.S. Senate in 2018. Like many of you, I'm dissatisfied with the hyperpartisanship that we see down in Washington, D.C. these days. Saying he'll be his own man in Congress. Yes, I'm running as a Republican, but I'm an independent-minded Republican. He took aim at incumbent Democrat Sheldon Whitehouse. I don't come from privilege and wealth. The 68-year-old former judge announcing inside a Central Falls mill building, saying he's proud of how he guided that City through bankruptcy. And what we did is we put together a consensual plan, listened, were transparent, collaborated with the various uh, folks that were going to be affected. City retirees protesting outside disagreed. This is a kick, a kick in the, uh, kick in the shin, you know, doing it in Central Falls after he came into the city and did what he did to us, cutting our pensions by 55%. Flanders isn't the only Republican running. GOP state rep Bobby Nardalillo already launched his campaign back in May. He argues Flanders is a flawed candidate, saying, quote, Sheldon Whitehouse is a man whose energy and attention are suspect. He's an Ivy League lawyer who has always lived off trust funds and paychecks from the public. Republicans cannot beat this candidate by running a clone against him. And Senator Whitehouse told me today he looks forward to taking on the eventual Republican nominee, whoever that is, while the state Democratic Party argued Flanders and Nardalillo would both be votes for President Trump's agenda. Ted Nisi, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Ted. And if you want to read more about this or any other story Ted is working on, you can find that on our website, WPRI.com.